Good morning, everyone. We are live at Seacoast RVs in Saco, Maine, and I'm going to be interviewing Linda Mailhot in just a second, but I was mesmerized when I came into the showroom to look at all of the awards that this company has won. They are New England's largest park model dealer, and I'm going to come over and see you in a minute, Linda, but look at this parts and accessory store, one of the largest in Maine, and we're going to talk to Linda this morning about park model living, park models in general, and destination camping. So good morning, Linda. How are you? Good. Good morning, Bob. Welcome. Wow. What a very impressive showroom. Thank you. Tell us a little bit about those wards on the wall up there. Well, we're pleased to be continuing our 20-year partnership with Crop Industries. The family at Crop is amazing to work with, and um, we're, of course, their top dealer of the year, again this year, as we have been for many years. And um, it's exciting stuff. What, what makes a park model so unique in our industry? Well, a park model is a specific type of recreational vehicle, as you know, that's built primarily to be used um, as a camp or a cottage, usually set up in a campground for three seasons in this area. Now, when we look at park models, then we think about destination camping. One of the benefits of it is you pick out a particular location that you can go to every weekend. And that seems to be on the rise in the RV industry with park models in general, but also destination campers. It definitely is. And, and a destination travel trailer is a long travel trailer, usually 35 to 40 plus feet with multiple slide outs. And park models are a little bit different in that they're constructed with two by four studs on the sidewalls, two by six floor joists, everything 16 inches on center, vinyl siding, shingle roof. So they're built to last for a long, long while. A lot of people look at them and they think that they're vacation cottages. They are legitimately an RV. And what separates, what makes them an RV? Well, they're on a steel chassis, much like a travel trailer is. It's just different in size. So it has wheels and everything that stay underneath of it. It's just the hitch is detachable and comes off. And it's still designed to be in campgrounds only, not to be used as housing of any type. Yeah. Now, you are unique in the Boston show because you're actually going to bring one of the park models. We decided not to go outside today because it's around 10 degrees, so we thought we'd stay inside. But Thank you've you. got. You, <laughs> <laughs> but I, on the way in, you must have at least 30 park models sitting out there in the, park, in the dealership right now. Indeed, we do, yes. Um, when we started in this industry 22 years ago, we started as service only and then built our, our company from there. And then people were asking us to carry park models specifically because that's what they wanted in this destination resort community. That's how we started and that's what we continue with today. Now, when you set up in Boston this weekend, you're going to have the park model, the sunroom, the deck. You're going to have it set up exactly as it would be set up in a park model community, right? Exactly. We're going to have the whole deal on display there to show you exactly what destination park model living is all about. What would you tell people about the family aspect of it? You know, bunk, bunk beds are very big now. Uh, two bedrooms are very big. What's the benefit for the families? Well, we have a, a lot of loft models, which can also double as a second bedroom, but in Boston on display, we will have a bunkhouse model, which gives a lot of flexibility. Instead of doing uh, maybe a more traditional type of a vacation where you might rent a hotel room with a couple of beds, the nice thing about doing a park model for a destination uh, summer type of living is that you come up to it on the weekends, maybe when you get out of work on Friday, you load everybody up, you come up, you put your key in the door and all of your things are already inside. Your clothes are in your dresser, your food's in your fridge, your cupboards are stocked and you're ready to go. Well, and the other thing that you mentioned earlier, you mentioned that you started off as service and, and I'm one of your customers and I love our park model. We've had, this is our third one, but your service is incredible in terms of taking care of your customers both in the parts and accessory store but also on the road. Talk about your mobile service and your responsiveness to the customers. Well, and, and as I said, you're right. We did start um, as service, but we actually started all as mobile service. And to this day, almost all of our service is done out on the road, visiting area campgrounds. And, um, you know, we have an extremely high commitment to our customers and, and the units that we sell. Because quite frankly, without customer service, without referrals, you really have nothing in today's business. That's fantastic. So if folks don't get a chance to come to the show, we hope they do. We're opening on Friday night at 4 o'clock, all day Saturday, all day Sunday, all day Monday at the Boston Convention and Exhibition Center. 
But if they're not able to get into Boston, how do they find you and where do they find you? We're right on Route 1 in Saco, Maine. We're only about 30 minutes north of Portsmouth, New Hampshire. Our website is seacoastrv.com, and all 30 of our in-stock park models are right on our website. And they're all open for viewing and leisure. You, this is not a high-pressure uh, type of environment. This is a major purchase, and you walk them through every step of the pl uh, plan, right? That's right, and it usually takes two or three visits before someone's ready to, to do something, just because we have so many different options available. Yeah, and one of the things that I've always found amazing about Seacoast and, and Krupp most park models we know from industry statistics go to Florida and Texas and California and Arizona, the warm climates, and yet you are the number one crop dealer in the country. Well, you know, crop turns out a fabulous product. As I mentioned, we've been selling park models now for about 20 years, and it's something that we specialize in. I think that most RV dealers really don't specialize in park models. It's a little bit more time-consuming both in service, um, both in sales, in terms of setup, really, on the service aspect. And because of that, you know, maybe you don't sell quite as many park models as you would a traditional RV, but for us, we feel that that's really, you know, where the heart of our business is and the heart of our company is, and that's where we intend to stay. Okay, one last thing. When they do buy a park model, especially if they buy it from Seacoast, you also have another exhibit at the show, quite close by the actual model itself, for Seacoast Resort, which is where I'm at and where many people are at. Tell us about the park model community you've developed. Right. We have a park model only community in Old Orchard Beach called Seacoast RV Resort. It is open May 1st through October 31st. And because we're in a resort destination like Old Orchard Beach, it's a great spot to have a three season getaway like a park model. That's fantastic. All right. Any last words about park model living before we let you go back to work and Back by the heater? Well, we hope you come down to Boston, check out our display, and if you don't have an opportunity, certainly catch us up here in Saco. We're open seven days a week, and we're happy to answer any questions for you. Thanks very much, Linda. Thank you.